Hey what's up YouTube welcome back to smartphone world The Samsung Galaxy S11 series is expected to launch in February of 2020 but that did not stop the leaksters from revealing the key specs and design of the upcoming Galaxy S11 series The Galaxy S11 series will feature 120 Hz refresh rate as AMOLED Infinity O display 108 megapixel camera 8K video recording option and a huge battery Popular tipster Evan Blast revealed the screen sizes of all the three S11 models If Samsung stick to its current naming convention then S11 e will feature 6.2 or 6.4 inch display working our way up there is a lower S11 set to sport a 6.7 inch display and finally a bigger S11 plus model at 6.9 inches all three panels will apparently be curved this time around so fans of traditional flat look of the current S10e might feel a little disappointed all three models will have 120 hz display with a center punch cut out to house the selfie camera Popular leakster Ice Universe has stated that Galaxy S11 won't adapt the waterfall screen used in devices like Vivo Next 3 and Huawei Mate 30 Pro, but will have slimmer bezels than Galaxy Note 10 series. The Galaxy S11 series will get instant camera hardware and software upgrade, and it looks like Samsung will bring something incredible to the table. All tipsters are super hyped about Galaxy S11 camera features. Popular tipster and XGA developer Mark Weinberg dug deep into the code of One UI 2.0, and he claimed that S11 will be the best camera smartphone of 2020. The Galaxy S11 camera system is internally codenamed as Hubble, which is a night telescope, and Samsung have trademarked Space Zoom, a feature that lets you to zoom into photos without losing the quality. Samsung will bring the next-gen 108 megapixel camera sensor to the Galaxy S11 family, along with 5x periscope-style optical zoom lens. It is a major leap in terms of hardware, as Samsung generally uses 12 megapixel sensor for their flagship smartphone, which is half the size of the 108 megapixel sensor. I do accept that megapixels don't matter, but the 108 megapixel sensor paired up with Samsung's camera software will be a nightmare to competitors like Apple and Google. The 2020 flagship will feature 8K video recording and few of new camera modes like direct view, night hyperlapse, single take photo, vertical panorama and custom filters. The Galaxy S11 series will be powered by either Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 or Exynos 990 depending on the market. Both chipsets have support for 8K video recording at 30 frames per second. Based on the reports from Evan Blast, S11 series will be offered in 5 variants. S11 e and S11 will be offered in both 5G and LTE variants, whereas S11 plus will be offered only in 5G variant. The device will run Android and out of the box with One UI 2.0 on top. To compensate the power hungry 120 Hz display, Samsung increased the battery capacity of all models by 10%. The Galaxy S11 e will get 4000 mAh battery, S11 will get 4400 mAh battery, and S11 plus will get whooping 5000 mAh battery. It looks like the Galaxy S11 series is turning out to be a solid upgrade. We are going to get 120 Hz display, 5x optical zoom camera, 108 megapixel camera. But the question is how far Samsung will increase the price. We don't know the exact pricing of S11 series, but if I were to speculate, we can expect the S11 to be priced around 59,000 for the base variant. The WS7 may start at 69,000 and S11 Plus may start around 80,000 for the base variant. The Galaxy S11 series will be unveiled on February of 2020, but I don't know the exact launch date. Once I get to know the date, I'll update the information in the comment section. How are you guys excited about Galaxy S11 series? Share your thoughts on the comment section. If you guys do like the video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Smartphone World for more tech and gaming videos. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video and you guys have a great day.